Hello, I'm Pastor Lorenz, and I'm here with our Executive Director here at St. Paul Lutheran Church in McAllen, Texas, uh, Matthew Dress. And as we come back to in-person worship, we wanted to give you just a little bit of an introduction and show you how some of the things have changed and just get you used to what's going to happen and how the new normal will affect us. And so we're going to walk through just a few things today for you. We hope that it's helpful information as you consider coming back to church. Right. So to begin, we are going to resume our regularly scheduled worship services in person. That's including our Saturday evening service at 5 p.m., our Sunday morning at 8 a.m., and our Sunday morning at 1045. We will continue to offer Bible study only online mm -hmm. uh, for those of you that want to continue to participate in that. Um, hopefully in the future we can regather in, in the fellowship hall with that, uh, but at this time we're then going to remain online. Um, we just want you to take some time as you think about this, as we reopen, and uh, prayerfully consider whether now is the right time for you to return uh, to our in-person worship services, or if you need to uh, continue to remain at home and just uh, worship with us online, uh, those services will still remain online every single weekend and you are welcome to join us um, during those. Um, and just know that uh, worshiping online with us is, is no sign of uh, you being a bad Christian or in lacking of faith. Um, and in fact, that you are taking the time to actually take the time out of your, your Sunday morning and still worship with us um, is is a sign of, of you um, continuing your journey in, in your faith with Christ. Yeah, and just one additional note on that is that our Saturday night service, we're going to try to kind of reserve that for our at-risk crowd, um, whether that's because of your age or because of a health problem. Um, so we'd kind of like to preserve that service for that crowd, and then everyone else is welcome to come on Sunday morning. This is really a new normal for us. Uh, so many things have changed, and uh, it seems like everything has changed. But this weekend, we're going to come back together. We're going to do the best that we can. I would encourage you to... Uh, read the open St. Paul document that we made available, especially those sections that apply to you and the service that you go to. So let's just walk through a few of the things and show you um, some of the things that have changed here at St. Paul. So let's start. We'll start out in the parking lot as you arrive. We encourage you, if possible, to park in every other space. Give a little distance between you and the car next to you. If you're next to another car um, and you pull in at the same time, be considerate. Wait for the other person to enter or exit, depending on, on what we're doing at the time, uh, and maintain that social distancing between you. And be considerate also and reserve those spaces that are closest to the building for those who have mobility challenges uh, so that they won't have to park so far away. And as we walk through this today, you'll notice that there's a theme throughout this entire video. And the theme is simply this, showing care and love for your neighbor. Do you remember how Jesus summarized the Ten Commandments? He said, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. And he said, love your neighbor as yourself. Now, by adjusting the way that we are doing things, we are showing love for God and we are showing love for our neighbors. Before you do anything, ask yourself this question. If I have the virus, if I'm a carrier, but I don't have any symptoms, I don't know it yet, are my actions in the best interest of my neighbor? You see, I will be wearing a face covering for your protection so that I don't get you sick. That's how we show humility and love for our neighbor at this time. Now, as you enter the building, um, 
please use the hand sanitizer that is provided. We have that at all of the entrances to the building. We have some freestanding ones also that will uh, find new places as we discover uh, where is the best place to use those. You can use those or use your own hand sanitizer. Those stations are near the entrances and we encourage you to use them. And as you enter the worship space, find a seat. And we encourage you, I know you can't sit in your own pew. Chances are probably your pew is blocked off anyways. But we encourage you to do this. Move as far forward as possible. Move as far forward and choose the next available seat. By doing this, you will not force others to walk around you to have to find a seat. You'll notice also that we don't have any handouts. There's no bulletins, no announcements, no communication cards or pens. Even the hymnals have been removed from our sanctuary to reduce those items that would be commonly touched by many people. We want to show care and love for our neighbors. Remember that theme, care and love for one another. You're welcome to greet each other, but do please refrain from hugging, shaking hands, or having those kind of contacts. Um, family units, of course, may sit together, but we ask that you stay socially distanced from others by six feet or, or by sitting in every other pew or every other seat. The tables in the gym will be spaced out so um, they are already safely socially distanced from each other. Please note families with small children, um, there will be no nursery care at this time. We definitely welcome children in worship and we thank and praise God and we call on everyone once again to love your neighbor, to be considerate, to put the best construction on everything and to show patience as we, as we have children in worship. We love that. We love to have those children there. So we make that a welcoming space for them. And even though it will feel different and it won't be what we're used to, we must remember that we are all still gathering as God's people. We as God's people are united. We're united under the cross of Christ and we're worshiping our risen Lord and Savior together once again. Jesus, of course, was the greatest servant, the servant of all. He humbled himself. He took on a human form. He washed his disciples' dirty feet. He endured unjust beatings and even death. And, and as his disciples, as his followers, we humble ourselves too. We can humble ourselves by wearing a mask by using that hand sanitizer, by maintaining a safe distance from others out of care and concern for our neighbors. We're not showing a lack of faith by doing these things, but rather we're living out our faith by humbling ourselves out of love for our neighbor. And one of the probably greatest questions that you have or the question that's at the front of your mind uh, as we walk through this is are we going to have communion this sunday well this sunday is technically not a communion sunday it's a first sunday so we are not going to celebrate communion we will come together we will practice our social distancing we will get used to some of that new normal that we mentioned earlier and hopefully that'll be a good uh, practice and getting us all comfortable with the changes as the next Sunday, that'll be the 14th of June, that weekend, um, we will celebrate Holy Communion. And we'll do that a little bit differently. Um, we will be bringing it out to you in the pews and things like that. So just realize that the way that that happens will be different and we'll get some more information out to you as the week goes by. The same will be true of the offering. Um, we won't pass the offering plate. Uh, the ushers will come to you with the plate 
and you can just drop your envelope in. That way we, we avoid more of that touching and more of those contact and, and more of the transmission possibilities. So be ready for some of those uh, changes and realize that, that this Sunday we won't celebrate communion, but next Sunday we will. And as you exit the service, the pastors or the ushers will dismiss you by pews or tables to help you maintain the appropriate um, spacing and social distancing between people. We want to prevent that bottleneck of bodies at the door. Please exit the worship space while you maintain that proper social distancing from other family groups. Exit the church and proceed to your vehicle without congregating in the parking lot. We are very excited to be returning to church here together, uh, worshiping together in, in one space again. Um, and I, we just want to take this time to remind you that this too is only for um, a little while. It's not going to last forever. So please keep that in mind that uh, this is just for now. Yeah, and it is kind of a strange time. Uh, we might feel a little bit like those Israelites as they wandered through the wilderness for 40 years. You know, they didn't exactly know how long they were going to be walking for. Uh, there were days and times that they did not like the conditions that they were living in. Uh, but they stuck together, and God held them together. And most importantly, God was always with them. It seemed like they were wandering, but they weren't really wandering because God was with them, and he was leading them, and he was taking care of them. God cared for them. He provided for them. And he'll do the same for us now in this time as we walk through, hopefully, what will be the last chapters in this pandemic. Yep. And, and even though we don't know how long this may last, um, which makes it really hard, we do know that God is with us and he is leading us through all of this. Uh, we take it all one day at a time as things continue to change. Um, and we again, we just want to encourage you that um, if you're not ready, you don't feel comfortable yet, know that it's okay to continue to worship uh, from home, watching our live stream services, um, those are still a, an option for you. Um, just know that um, we don't define St. Paul as just a, a building here on campus. It's the people who make up St. Paul. And so even though we're not worshiping maybe together in person here, you are still worshiping with us and you are a part of the body of Christ. Blessings on your worship.